So, welcome you all to principles of organic synthesis. Presently, we study molecular rearrangements. In this topic, so far, we had two lectures in which we studied rearrangement to electron deficient carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen atoms. We have seen in case of rearrangement to electron deficient carbon, we studied Wagner Mirwin rearrangement, pinnacle rearrangement, benzylic acid rearrangement, and homologation of carboxylic acid. Then we studied the rearrangement to electron deficient nitrogen atom, in which we focused Hoffman rearrangement, Curtius rearrangement, Smith rearrangement and Lawson rearrangement. All these reactions involve isocyanate as intermediate. If you try to remember Hoffman rearrangement where we used amide as a starting material, which when you react with base in the presence of bromine, you will be able to convert into amine via isocyanate formation. Then we have seen the Curtius rearrangement where we use acid aside as the precursor, which when you heat it can lose nitrogen molecule, you will be able to form nitrine, which can undergo rearrangement to go isocyanate. In case of Smith rearrangement, the starting metal is carboxylic acid. When you react with HN3 in the presence of acid, you will be able to form acid aside the reaction medium. Since you carry out the reaction the presence of acid, it can readily undergo decomposition into nitrine intermediate which can rearrange to give isocyanate that can be further reacted with nucleophile to give the addition product. In the case of loss and rearrangement, hydroxyamic acid is the starting material which when you react with for example, acid anhydride you will be able to get the addition product, which when you react with the base, it can deprotonate this amide proton, which can rearrange into isocyanate that can be further reacted with the different nucleophile. Following that, we have seen the Beckman rearrangement, where oxime is the starting material. When you react with the acid, the oxime can lose water molecule and can undergo re rearrangement to give the amide as the product. For example, we have seen the transformation of cyclohexanone into caprolactam. When you react with cyclohexanone with hydroxylamine followed by treatment with sulfuric acid, you can convert into caprolactam, which we use as starting material to make nylons is very important transformation. So, these reactions involve electron deficient nitrogen. If you look at all these reactions, the rearrangement takes place on the electron deficient nitrogen atom. Then we have seen the rearrangement to oxygen atom, where we discussed two types of uh, reactions. First one, we discussed the Weyer Willinger oxidation. If you have a ketone, you can try to react with metachloropyrbenzoic acid in dichloromethane, you can try to convert into lactone. We have seen some example. Following that, we also have seen the reaction with hydroperoxide, the presence of base. It can also can undergo addition reaction with the carbonyl group followed by rearrangement to the electron deficient oxygen to give the lactone as the product. Then we have seen the Dakin rearrangement. For example, salicylate it can be readily reacted to give dihydroxybenzene as the product. So, these are the rearrangement we have seen the uh, earlier two lectures. Now, let us focus on the rearrangement to electron rich carbon. Following that, we will try to discuss the rearrangement in the aromatic substrates. When you go for the rearrangement to electron 
rich carbon we will see four reactions. First one is a Stevens rearrangement. For example, if you have the quaternary ammonium salt, if this salt has beta hydrogen atom, when you react with base, it can deprotonate and can convert into alkene and amine and if you use hydroxide ion, you will be able to generate water as byproduct. This reaction takes place via U2 elimination and if you have beta hydrogen atom, it can deprotonate same time you can also lose the amine and you will be able to get alkene as the compound. In addition, if you have the quaternary ammonium salt with beta carbonyl compound, it can be ketone or ester or aryl group once if you have this can also can be aryl group. If you have this substituent and this can readily undergo with base, for example, if you have the base and it can try to deprotonate and you will be able to form this elide. This elide can be stabilized by the carbonyl group. Once you form this one, now this can, for example, if you take this substrate, and when you react with the base, it can deprotonate once you have this one. Now, this can you will be able to form this amine intermediate. Once you form this one, this can undergo addition reaction, then you will be able to. get the addition product. So, what you do here? It happens 1 to sigma traffic rearrangement in this reaction. So, the migratory aptitude of if for example, if you have the alkyl and benzyl shown here, the benzyl group undergoes migration favorably comparing to the alkyl group. If you have the allyl, it will migrate much faster comparing to the benzyl group. That depends upon you can see here and this is an example if you have here methyl and benzyl group, this can undergo migration to give this addition product. And in this case, uh, if you look at here, if you have the carbonyl group, it can be stabilized by enolate as shown here and then the, it can be ester or ketone or aryl group, you can try to deprotonate alba hydrogen using base and you can make the elide which can undergo rearrangement. Uh, uh, through 1 to sigma traffic rearrangement to give this addition product. Now, let us if you do not have beta hydrogen or beta ketone or ester uh, for example, now let us look at uh, some of the recent literature for the Stevens rearrangement. Here a quaternary ammonium salt shown which when you react with this base uh, tertiary butoxide as just we have seen. Uh, if you have aryl substituent and beta position as just we have seen. Now, uh, if the base deprotonate since you have the both are same uh, 
benzylic CH bond and it can try to deprotonate and uh, so once if you deprotonate and then you will be able to make the corresponding anion and once you form the anion now as just we have seen and it can come up it can undergo addition here then you will be able to get this compound this is what happens here. And similarly in this substrate which can undergo reaction the pressure of copper catalysis you will be able to have this intermediate once you have this one which can now undergo rearrangement as shown here you will be able to get this tricyclic compound as the product. Just we have seen the uh, Stevens rearrangement uh, some examples and where we have seen if you have the beta hydrogen atom if you have the base you can try to deprotonate it can undergo E2 elimination to give alkene as the compound. On the other hand if you have the beta carbonyl compound it the base also can deprotonate the alpha hydrogen atom so that you can get the elide that elide can be stabilized by the carbonyl group which can lead to rearrangement to give the addition compound. If you do not have beta hydrogen atom or beta carbonyl compound then if you try to react with a strong base like sodamide liquid ammonia which can lead to 2 comma 3 sigma traffic rearrangement which is known as somlet hazard rearrangement is shown here. And just we have seen if you have the uh, beta carbonyl compound the alpha CH bond can be uh, deprotonated which can lead to the 1 comma 2 sigma traffic rearrangement is uh, shown here. This is uh, Stevens rearrangement. On the other hand if you have the same substrate this substrate also when you react with the strong base like sodamide which can deprotonate this in the case of methyl, methyl hydrogen you can form for example if you deprotonate since strong base you will form this intermediate once you form this intermediate now this can undergo rearrangement as shown here and this can undergo rearrangement here as shown here then you will be able to form This intermediate which can lose proton the benzylamine derivative. So, if you have for example, in this case and you can when you react with the strong base it undergoes a tooth comma sigma traffic rearrangement to give this aryl derivative. Now, let us take this substrate uh, if it undergoes 2 comma 3 sigma traffic rearrangement just as we have seen and you will be able to get this compound it can also can undergo uh, 1 comma 2 sigma traffic rearrangement you will be able to get this compound and it depends upon the reaction conditions. For example, if you deprotonate this one So, this can form. So, on the other hand if so the rearrangement of this 
functional group takes place and it can uh, migrate here and you will be able to form So, if you deprogrammed there is a two possibilities there if migration takes place via 2 comma 3 sigma tau free arrangement you will be able to get this compound. On the other hand if the benzyl group migrates as shown here then you will be able to get this uh, compound via 1 comma 2 sigma tau free arrangement. Now, let us look at some of the recent examples from the literature. Here the rearrangement of this compound is shown in the presence of sodium methoxide and it can uh, rearrange for example, and if you try to deprotonate uh, this one as just we have seen it can undergo for example, If you deprotonate, if you generate this elide, and which can just as we have seen, it can undergo rearrangement as then you will be able to get. which can as the product. Similarly, you can also try to draw the mechanism for this formation of this. And another example shown here, when you react this compound with the sodium hydroxide in benzene solvent as just we have seen, it can undergo uh, rearrangement to give this uh, product. Now, let us look at uh, the rearrangement of the benzyl methyl ether as just we have seen the Stevens rearrangement. And here also in this case when you react with base in this reaction the use of phenyl lithium shown here which can deprotonate and you will be able to form this anion. Once you form this one and now which can undergo rearrangement to give this alkoxide which when you do the protonation you will be able to get uh, this benzylic alcohol as the product. And in this here uh, the re rearrangement of this uh, allyl ether is shown and which also when you react with the phenyl lithium which can undergo rearrangement as shown here to give this allyl vinyl ether as a product. The mechanism of this transformation shown here, um, here as just we have seen the deprotonation can generate this salt which uh, in the solvent can undergo rearrangement to give this alkoxide as shown here. Uh, now, this can the oxygen methyl bond can undergo homolysis to give this uh, radical pair. Once if it is there, it can convert into this radical as shown here. You generate this uh, lithium alkoxide radical intermediate when the di radical can undergo reaction to give this alkoxide which can when you do the workup and you will be able to uh, get this compound. This is similar to uh, Stevens rearrangement 1 comma 2 sigma traffic rearrangement happens here and what you do here you break this bond. 
we bond here and this comes and goes here and uh, see if you try to remember the Stevens rearrangement there also there is a possibility of involvement of radical. If you try to remember for example, when you take this substrate when you react with the base you deprotonate to form elide this also can involve radical intermediate as you know the one two rearrangement symmetrically is uh, forbidden therefore there is a possibility of involvement of radical di radical intermediate uh, in the bond formation once you form this one now which can convert into in solvent cage can convert into benzyl radical this can further So, this radical pair can undergo bond formation to give So, similarly here also the if you look at the Wittig reaction and you can uh, form a tie radical once you form the radical pair which can undergo uh, uh, reaction to give this uh, carbon carbon bond. Once you form this one which when you do the work up and you will be able to get this uh, protonate this alkoxide ion to give the alcohol as the product. This slide shows some of the recent examples on the Wittig rearrangement and as you can show and it uh, this when you have the propargyl ether which can undergo rearrangement to give this alcohol as a product. Here another example shown here you have the allyl ether which can also when you react with the NB2 lithium which can readily undergo rearrangement to give this alcohol as the compound. Uh, this if you look at here the stereochemistry of this uh, chiral center is retained here. Uh, so, this formation of this uh, compound can be uh, explained through chair confirmation if you draw This can, if you look at here the lithium make chelation with uh, this to this and this oxygen you will be able to form uh, this intermediate once you form this one you can try to So, if you see the relative stereochemistry of this uh, and this hydrogen and this they are axial and equatorial uh, cis 
and in this way you can try to draw the stereochemistry here you can see here and this this chirality of uh, this methyl group is retained in this and you will be able to get a syn stereochemistry due to the chelation of this lithium with the uh, this oxygen atoms and you can see here the stereochemistry of this chiral center can be retained this very useful reaction. Now, here some more examples are shown here uh, you have the benzyl and the alkyl tertiary butyl ether when you react with the n-butyl lithium as just we have seen. So, you can deprotonate this one and you form the radical it uh, migrates here and you will be able to get this compound and when you do the work of you will be able to get this alcohol. Similarly, in this case it can also undergo rearrangement as we have seen for example, when you react with the LDA and when you deprotonate this one you will be able to form salt once you form this one now it can So, this radical pair can undergo reaction you will be able to form get this when you do the work up and you will be able to get this uh, compound as the product. Similarly, this also when you do the reaction and this can readily undergo rearrangement as we have seen and you will be able to form this compound. The next example is uh, Favreski rearrangement and if you have the alba haloketone when you react with the base and you will be able to form uh, this ester in this reaction as we just we have seen and the base can deprotonate once if you have this uh, which can be stabilized by the carbonyl group and you will be able to form cyclic ketone intermediate once you form this one this can undergo reaction with methoxide addition reaction to the carbonyl to give So, if it opens this bond then you will be able to get
this carbon ion which can be stabilized by the aryl group. Uh, this is uh, favored, if you open up uh, this bond then you will be able to Uh, this is a less stable. Therefore, this formation of this uh, carbon ion is uh, favored. Once you form this carbon ion intermediate, which when you do the workup and you will be able to form this ester as the product. So, this the right compound is this one. Now, let us look at some more examples. Here an example shown you have the uh, two substrate and when you react with methoxide and in this case if you deprotonate then you will be able to form whether both can similarly deprotonation of this can give this uh, same intermediate. Once if you have this intermediate when you open up with methoxide as just we have seen and you will be able to form uh, this anion which once you form this carbon ion which can be stabilized by the phenyl group therefore, this is more favored. On the other hand if it opens here then you will be able to form uh, this carbon ion which is uh, less stable and therefore, uh, formation of this is not favored and uh, when you have this system and formation of this carbon ion can be favored due to the stabilization of this carbon ion by the phenyl group and when you do the workup and you will be able to get uh, this ester as the product. This slide shows some of the recent examples from the literature and as you can see here uh, when you here you have the alba bromo ketone and you have the when you react with the base as we, ha we have seen and uh, you can deprotonate this one and then you will be able to form this carbocation intermediate. Once you form this one which can readily undergo reaction with this cyclic addition reaction to give this uh, cyclic compound. Similarly, when you have this uh, bromo derivative when you react as just we have seen with for example, sodium methoxide you can do the deprotonation of once if you have deprotonate you will be able to form this. this intermediate and once you form this one and which can now when you react with sodium methoxide and you will be able to open up. this is the product. In summary, we have seen the rearrangement to electron rich carbon atom, four type of reaction we have seen. The first one involves uh, the uh, rearrangement of quaternary ammonium salt, Stevens rearrangement and where if you remember and if you have the beta hydrogen atom which can be deprotonated using base to give E2 elimination product, you get alkene, amine as the product. You can also if you have the beta carbonyl compound like ketone and ester aryl group, you can also try to deprotonate the alba hydrogen atom, you will be able to form the elide. That elide can be stabilized by carbonyl group. Once you form the elide which can now readily undergo rearrangement, 1, 2 symmetry of rearrangement to give the 
addition product. We have seen some examples from the recent literature. On the other hand, if you do not have beta carbonyl compound, if you have an alpha hydrogen atom, you can also deprotonate it using strong base like sodamide, which can lead to 2 comma 3 sigma tropic rearrangement. This is known as Samlet has a rearrangement. We have seen some examples which can also can be carried out using a strong base like sodamide, liquid ammonia. Then we have seen the Wittig rearrangement. If you have the allyl or benzylic ethers, when you react with the base like n beta lithium or phenyl lithium, they can readily undergo 1 comma 2 sigma tropic rearrangement to give the alcohol as the compound. If you remember both Stevens and uh, Wittig rearrangement both involve 1 comma 2 sigma tropic rearrangement. Uh, experimental studies suggest that they involve radical pair intermediate once we have the di radical which can undergo uh, coupling to give the uh, CC bond formation. And then we have seen the Pawersky rearrangement. If you have the alpha haloketone, uh, which can, when you react with the base, it can deprotonate the acidic proton, you form the cyclopropanone intermediate. Once you form the cyclopropanone intermediate, which is strain molecule, which can readily undergo an addition reaction with the nucleophile like sodium methoxide, and uh, which can give the ester as the product. We have also seen some example from the literature. Now, let us look at the rearrangement of aromatic substrates. Here, uh, the rearrangement of N acetyl chloranilin shown here. When you have, when you treat this compound with acid, it can give the chlorinated compound. This examples for the intermolecular rearrangement. So, when you treat with acid, and you will be able to form once you form Cl2 which can act as the electrophile So, orthochlorinated compound as the product. Similarly, you can also try to uh, draw for the para chlorination and which can now
So, this uh, basically an electrophilic substitution reaction therefore, if you have the uh, n acetyl chloroaniline you can try to when you react with the hydrochloric acid you will be able to form the ortho and uh, para chloro derivatives. Once you form this one you can try to hy do hydrolysis using uh, acid or base then you will be able to get the ortho or para chloroaniline as the product. The next example involves the reaction of N alkyl N nitroso aniline and as just we have seen when you treat this compound with acid and protonation of this can generate this uh, quaternary ammonium salt which once you form this one now this can lose uh, nitrosonium ion once you form this one which as just we have seen uh, in the case of aromatic electrophilic substitution reaction now this can now undergo addition reaction uh, uh, addition followed by elimination you will be able to get this uh, para nitroso compound. So, when you treat with acid you form uh, this intermediate which can lose nitrosonium ion you have now which can undergo reaction as shown here. as the product. Now, let us look at the reaction of arylazo aniline and here so when you treat with acid as we have seen you will be able to form this uh, ammonium ion once you form this one which can convert into amine and uh, this also derivative once we have this one which can act as electrophile in this reaction as just we have seen and once you have this one and you will be able to get this aso derivatives. So, whenever you have the aryl aso aniline when we react with treat with acid it can try to undergo rearrangement as shown here and this also an electrophilic uh, addition reaction if you remember the chemistry where we studied diazonium salt and if you have the aromatic ring which can readily undergo addition reaction with this diazonium salt as shown here then you will be under, you will be able to form a so compound as the product. Here the reaction of alkyl aniline shown and as just we have seen you can also try to treat with acid for example, in this case when you react with this, uh, hydrochloric acid and you can do the alkylation and you get the both ortho as well as para uh, compound as a product. As uh, just we have seen and you can also when you react with the acid and you can undergo protonation you will be able to form the salt. Once you form the salt now you have the Cl minus which can undergo SN2 reaction and you will be able to get
aniline as the intermediate. Once you form this one, it has a lone pair as just we have seen and it can undergo reaction here and you will be able to form which can convert into it's a product. Similarly, you can try to also write uh, for the ortho substitution. Suppose if it reacts here and you will be able to form the product. So, if you have the for example, n methyl aniline which when you react with hydrochloric acid it can undergo rearrangement to give the ortho as well as para methyl aniline derivatives as a product. Now, let us look at the rearrangement of hydroxylamines. If you have this n phenyl hydroxylamine when you react with acid which also can undergo rearrangement to give this amino phenol as the product as just we have seen and when you treat with acid you form this intermediate once you form it can lose water molecule and you will be able to form this cation once you form this cation which can react with water molecule and if you re remember all these reactions earlier reactions they involve electrophilic substitution uh, reaction and the benzene ring acts as a nucleophile which undergoes addition followed by elimination to give the substituted compound and where are here and you form this uh, cation intermediate once you form this one water acts as a nucleophile in this reaction which undergoes addition reaction and if it undergoes addition here and you will be able to form this this intermediate once if you have this one this can now convert into now let us look at some more example here uh, the rearrangement of this uh, hydroxylamine shown when you have this two chloro when you react this compound with acetic acid and mixture of sulfuric and acetic acid and then you will be able to get this compound as just we have seen and similarly here the rearrangement of this uh, oxime is shown when you react with the hcl and in ethanol solvent you will be able to form this uh, cyclic ketone as the product. Now, let us look at the rearrangement of ester. So far we have seen the aromatic compound that had substituent on the nitrogen atom. Now, we will see the uh, rearrangement of uh, ester in the presence of Lewis acid and this is known as uh, price rearrangement when you have this ester and when you react with the Lewis acid it can try to undergo rearrangement as shown here and you will be able to form uh, this phenol derivative. Uh, the mechanism of this transformation shown here and the chelation of this oxygen lone pair with the Lewis acid for example, if you, when you take the aluminum chloride can 
form this intermediate once you form this one which can convert into phenoxide as shown here which can be uh, chelated with this Lewis acid and you will be able to form the acetylene cation. Once you form this one in this reaction it acts as electrophile as we have seen it can now undergo addition reaction. If the addition reaction takes place here then you will be able to get ortho substituted compound. On the other hand it can also take place in para position then you will be able to get the para substituted compound at low temperature and this para substituted compound is observed as major compound whereas at higher temperature the ortho substituted compound is shown as the major compound. For example, when you uh, carry out the reaction with aluminum chloride and this at higher temperature you form this uh, chelated uh, aluminum complex which is responsible for the formation of uh, this uh, ortho substituted compound. The low temperature you form first this is kinetically controlled compound. Once you have this one when you prolong the reaction or a heat at higher temperature it can convert into the ortho substituted product as uh, the mechanism of this reaction shown here. And this reaction also known under light and this reaction involves Lewis acid as catalyst you can uh, form the acetylene cation which undergoes reaction alternatively you can also try to react this compound in light to give this uh, a rearranged product in the presence of light it undergoes homolytic cleavage to give the phenoxide radical and this acyl radical. Once you form this uh, radical and as just we have seen it can undergo reaction. If it undergoes the ortho position you will be able to get this radical, this radical can now undergo reaction once you form this can convert into phenol And similarly, it can also undergo further reaction, this can convert into this radical. This radical once have is as just we have seen, it can undergo reaction with the acyl radical and you will be able to form. this can convert into this phenol derivative. So, the phrase rearrangement can be carried out using Lewis acid as well as uh, photochemically if you carry out the reaction in the presence of light it can undergo homolytic cleavage to give the acyl radical and once you have the acyl radical which can readily undergo reaction ortho and para position to give you a mixture of keto compounds. Now, let us uh, see some recent examples. The first one involves the rearrangement of naphthyl acetate when you uh, react with the copper to triflate in the presence of uh, methane sulfonic acid it undergoes rearrangement to give this uh, keto derivative as you can see here. So, this in this case a copper triflate acts as a Lewis acid oscillation takes place in this position and the, the next example involves. Uh, the rearrangement of this aryl acetate in the presence of uh, zinconium chloride and dichloromethane it undergoes rearrangement to give this ortho as well as uh, ortho as well as para substituted ketones as you can see here 
and uh, so so as you can see here uh, this phrase rearrangement has broad utilities we have the ester aryl ester it can readily undergo rearrangement in the presence of lewis acid to give this ketone as the product now uh, so far we have seen uh, several examples for the migration of functional group from nitrogen oxygen to aromatic systems all these reactions are uh, involved intermolecular migration now let us look at the intramolecular migration from nitrogen to carbon the first example involves the rearrangement of phenyl nitramines you can see here when you treat this compound with acid and heat it and the nitration takes place in the ortho position you will get ortho nitro aniline uh, as a product as a major compound also there is a also the formation of para nitronilin as a minor compound this whatever reaction we are going to look at it all these reactions uh, have been carried out under heating and this is the first example and you can get uh, this and in the intramolecular migration takes here so you will be able to get this ortho nitronilin as a product the next example involves the rearrangement of phenyl salbamic acid so when you treat with uh, this compound with acid and heat it it undergoes rearrangement and you get this aniline sulfonic acid as the product when you heat this one this undergoes migration to para position you will be able to get this uh, sulfonic acid at the para position so in this way if you have the aniline uh, if you have the phenyl salbamic acid it can readily undergo rearrangement to give para amino sulfonic acid as the product now let us look at the rearrangement of hydrozo benzene when you treat with acid followed by heat it can undergo phi comma phi sigma tropic rearrangement to give this phi phenyl derivative so you can look at here when you see the reaction pathway and when you treat this compound with acid it undergoes protonation once if you have this one then it undergoes a rearrangement so this undergoes rearrangement shown here and you will be able to get phi comma phi sigma tropic rearrangement as shown here and you will be able to get and this intermediate once if you have this one it can undergo as you can see here convert into this phi phenyl derivative if you look at all these reactions the rearrangement takes place intramolecularly all reactions can be carried out under heating now let us look at some uh, recent examples for the phi comma phi sigma tropic rearrangement of uh, hydrozo benzene and here when you the rearrangement of this substituted hydrozo benzene shown here when you heat at 20 degree celsius in the presence of sulfur dioxide it undergoes rearrangement phi comma phi sigma tropic rearrangement and to give this uh biphenyl derivative similarly when you take this compound when you treat with the hydrochloric acid and that it can also undergo rearrangement as so you'll be able to get the intermediate that can again rearranges into biphenyl derivative as a product so far we have seen the intra some examples for the from migration to the nitrogen to the aromatic systems we have seen three examples first example involves the rearrangement of nitro group in the presence of acid under heating it can rearrange to ortho position of the aromatic ring then we have seen the rearrangement of uh, sulfonyl group it can also undergo rearrangement to ortho position when you heat it it can undergo further rearrangement to para position of the aniline derivative then we have seen the rearrangement of hydrozo benzene derivatives when you uh, treat with acid it can undergo phi comma phi sigma tropic rearrangement to give the phi phenyl derivatives if you look at all these reactions involve intramolecular rearrangement and the functional group migrates from the aniline to the aromatic ring now let us look at the 
rearrangement of functional group from oxygen here the Claisen rearrangement shown when you have this aryl allyl ether when you heat it it can undergo 3 comma 3 sigmatropic rearrangement when you heat it it can undergo rearrangement as shown here and you will be able to get this compound if you remember uh, earlier we have studied if you have vinyl allyl ether when you heat it it can undergo rearrangement you will be able to This aldehyde derivative as the product, it involves a 3 comma 3 sigma tropic rearrangement. So, a thermal reaction when you heat it, it undergo rearrangement to give this. Similarly, when you have this aryl allyl ether, this also when you heat it, it can undergo sigma tropic rearrangement as shown here. And in this case, you break this bond and see you can come here and it can go here, then it will come here. So, you will be able to as shown here when you heat it and it can undergo a rearrangement as shown here then you will be able to and get this derivative 3 comma 3 sigma of rearrangement once we have this one it can convert into this if you do not have any substance ortho position you will be able to get uh, this compound when you take you will be able to get this on the other hand suppose if the ortho position subs has substitution then it rearranges it migrates to the para position for example here you have the methyl group when you uh, heat this compound it can also undergo 3 comma 3 sigma tropic rearrangement first you will get this compound as we have seen here and it can further undergo as shown here when you it can undergo reaction as shown here then you will be able to uh, get this compound and para position this it can convert into the phenol derivatives. So, this is also very important reaction that uh, Claisen rearrangement widely used uh, for the construction of carbon carbon bond. If you have this allyl vinyl or aryl allyl ether, they can readily undergo rearrangement when you heat to give uh, this allyl derivative. These are the some of the uh, recent examples from the literature. Uh, now, let us look at uh, this compound when you re, uh, heat this compound in the presence of fluorocyl, the structure of this one shown here and it can uh, readily undergo rearrangement as shown here. You will be able to get this compound you can see here. So, the next example involves uh, similarly when you heat this compound thermal reaction as just we have seen this also can undergo reaction. So, then you will be able to get which can convert into this phenol derivative. So, if you have allyl aryl ether they can readily undergo 3 comma 3 sigma rearrangement for the in this way you will be able to introduce allyl group in the aromatic reaction system 
and you will be if you have in other words you will be try to convert into phenol derivatives having allyl functional group. In summary, so in this lecture we have seen the rearrangement of functional groups to electron rich carbon atom we have seen four reactions for example, if we have or this can migrate to the electron deficient system then you will be able to have we have seen four uh, type of reaction there first one all this reaction involved migration of this uh, functional group to the electron rich carbon atom. In the case of Stevens rearrangement if you have the quaternary ammonium salt if you have the beta hydrogen atom which can if you in the presence of base it can be deprotonated it can undergo E2 elimination to give the alkene amine as the product. On the other hand if you have the beta carbonyl compound also the alpha hydrogen atom can be deprotonated using base in this way you will be able to make a 1 to sigma trophic rearrangement you get the amine derivatives. If you do not have beta carbonyl compound the alpha hydrogen atom also can be deprotonated using strong base uh, for example, somlet has a rearrangement and in this reaction you have to use strong base like sodamide the presence of liquid ammonia you can deprotonate and that can lead to 2 comma 5 sigma traffic rearrangement and you will be able to get the migrated compound rearranged product. Then we have seen the Wittig rearrangement this is similar to Stevens rearrangement it is involves 1 to sigma traffic rearrangement if you have uh, benzyl or allyl uh, ether in the presence of strong base like uh, N beta lithium you can deprotonate this one then uh, it can this R group can migrate here you will be able to make benzyl alcohol for example, if you have the uh, benzyl ether you will be able to make substituted benzyl alcohol as the product. Uh, this reaction this Wittig rearrangement and the Stevens rearrangement usually take place via radical pair intermediate. Then we have seen the Faversky rearrangement if you have the alpha chloroketone So, it can in the presence of base it can undergo rearrangement you can deprotonate this one you form the cyclopropanone intermediate which in the presence of nucleophile can open up you will be able to form ester as the compound we have seen some examples. If all this reaction if you look at here they the rearrangement takes place to the electron rich carbon atom then we have seen the rearrangement in the aromatic uh, ring and we have seen uh, several reaction here first we have seen the rearrangement which involve intermolecular rearrangement for example, we have seen the rearrangement of uh, chloramine then chloroanilide then uh, nitroso based rearrangement reactions all this rearrangement involve this all these reactions involve intramolecular rearrangement and uh, they are uh, undergo rearrangement intramolecularly. Next we have seen the aromatic rearrangement where if you have N substitute anilin derivatives this functional group migrates intermolecularly to ortho as well as para position then you will be able to have this para as well as ortho substituted compound these reactions are usually carried out in the presence of acid and we have seen X can be C L and also we have seen alkyl. So, this all this group can be rearranged to ortho or para position in this way you will be able to get ortho and para substituted anilin derivatives and these reactions involve intermolecular rearrangement following that we have seen the rearrangement of ester price rearrangement if we have for example, ester and this can be rearranged to phenol derivative 
you will be able to form a mixture of ortho as well as uh, para keto derivatives. You can see here this uh, uh, involves in this the migration takes place from oxygen to the aromatic ring and the previous case the migration takes place from the nitrogen to the aromatic ring. We have seen several examples. Then we have seen some examples uh, the intramolecular rearrangement where we have seen if we have So, this also in the presence of acid when you heat it, it can rearrange to ortho and para nitronyl derivatives, you will be able to this is the major compound. And when you similarly, if you have here uh, sulfamic acid which also can undergo rearrangement to give when you treat with acid and heat it and you will be able to form which can further when you heat it, it can rearrange to So, paranyl sulfonic acid you will be able to make uh, this sulfonic acid derivatives and then we have seen the Claisen rearrangement. If we have the aryl and allyl ether, they, when you heat uh, this compound, this can readily undergo uh, 3 comma 3 sigma to rearrangement to give phenol having allyl substituent, the ortho as well as the para position. So, we also have seen uh, one example for the uh, rearrangement of hydrazo benzene. If you have, if you heat it in the presence of acid, which also can undergo rearrangement through phi comma phi sigma rearrangement to give these uh, biphenyl derivatives. So, if you summarize all these three lectures, the lecture one we have seen the rearrangement of functional group to electron deficient carbon atoms, we have seen several rearrangements there. The second lecture, then we have seen the rearrangement to electron deficient nitrogen and oxygen atoms. And in this lecture, we have seen the first part where we several examples for the rearrangement to electron rich carbon atoms. If you compare utility of this rearrangements are less effective comparing to that rearrangement to electron deficient carbon atoms. Then we have seen the rearrangement of the aromatic systems. The first part we have seen the rearrangement which involve intramolecular migration to the nitrogen to aromatic ring, then oxygen to aromatic ring. Following that we have seen some examples for intramolecular rearrangement uh, from the nitrogen to aromatic ring from oxygen to aromatic ring. And with this, uh, this if you look at all these reactions they find broad utilities in synthetic chemistry. With this we conclude this lecture. Thank you very much.